Hi, if you've been following through with my recent update, you notice I made a video about this application called OmniStream right there on the screen and the in-depth guide on how you can fully set up your account, sign up, log in, test your network speed, um, set up the web application and also use this mobile app. All the step-by-step -step guide is what I'm going to share with you in today's video. And don't also forget you could download the app on Play Store and give them a positive review. I've also made a couple of videos on them on how you can use it to connect your camera to the Vimy software using the SROT boot on OBS and also the Prism Live Studio. Also, I also made a video on how you can use the Omni Capture, use a custom capture card, connect it to your phone and also turn your camera to a HDMI transmitter. All of that, I will leave the link in the description of this particular video. But today we're going to go through the in-depth guide on how you can fully set up your own Omni Stream account. And then also forget to give them a positive review on Play Store once you use the app because it's really, really working. I've tested it and I've also shown live proof on some of the video I made about the application. So let's dive in. The first thing you're going to do is to head over to Play Store on your mobile device. Now, once you're ready on the Play Store, search for Omni Stream and you're going to see the app. Okay, now the particular one that you should download is the one that have the OS with a video icon on it is the right one to install. And once that is open, click on the install button and that will initiate the install process. If you take a look at there on the screen, just granted access, all this access to your phone camera, to your on phone, granted all the necessary permission that you require so that the app can properly work on your mobile device. Okay, so make sure you do that. You could sit there, choose your language option on the screen and this is where you choose your language option. By default, it's going to select English for you and that is the US flag right there on the screen. But you could also select other languages based on the flag that is displayed on the screen. So if you don't understand English, you could select other language that you understand based on all the flag that is displayed there on the screen for you. And go ahead and tick the terms of use and click on the next but on this new page, you're going to see three different tab. The first one is the get started. The second one is the login. And the third one is the one that have the phone icon with the plus sign beside it. And on the get started tab is where you set up your account. So you put in your name, all the information that is required on the page. You can also set up an account for yourself. So on the login page, this is where you log into your account if you already have one. Now beside the, the, beside the login tab, you also see the the site that this is where you select your own server. So once you already set up an account, you're going to send you the login information and also the server detail to your email address. Okay. And this is where you put those information to log into an account if you have one already. The phone icon there with the plus sign is you test your internet download and your upload speed. So on the first name, just put in your name there. And then on also on the last name, type in your last name. And on your email address, go ahead and put your email address there, your password that also and then on the confirm password repeats the same thing that you've put on the password then on the country code there search for your own country you can also search for it currently i'm in africa i'm in nigeria to so select that and then once you're done put in your mobile number okay very important because the mobile number will be used to verify your account so they will send the code to that particular mobile number and you've put in okay so don't put any temporary number put in your real mobile number and also on the email, put in your real email where the code will be sent to. How did you hear about those? You can select any of the options that is displayed there on the screen. And once you're done, click on the register. It's asking you to make sure the number you're putting is the right one. And once you've already done that, the code will be sent to that particular number that was used. And this is the verification process. Let's go ahead and let me log into my accounts. Okay, click on that. And this is the mobile app, how it looks like. Once you successfully signed up for an account, following the process I just shared with you, you're going to see a welcome email from the Omni stream. Now it says your free trial license is ready. And when you scroll down, you can see the, the information. You now you can sign in using the credentials below. Now you can see at the first one, you have the Omni stream application. Now the information on the Omni stream application is what you can use. See the, the email and company name, the username, the password, and also the site. This is the server you're currently on. If you take a look at this button beside the login, that is where you select the server, the one you're currently on, and they've also given you that information on your welcome email. That is this on the screen here, site, see, site here, this is it. And this is where, what you're going to select on that particular option there. And you have your email. Now also the dashboard for web application is also sent to you the information. You have your email, that is your company name also, and you have your username, your password, and also the link to sign in 
your web application dashboard okay so just click on the link and this will open a different tab here and this is where you sign in to the web application once the release is up already just put in your username they sent to you on your email this is this one here and once you're done the company should be your email address the email address is same as your company so just put the email address you use to sign up for the account that gmail.com and once you're done click on the login on the devices info this is where you see all the devices that are currently signed into the omni stream application so you see all of them here you have the battery the temperature the, the network provider there and also the network and the signal you see everything over here on the stream tab by the left here is where you see if you click on the sources you'll be able to set the camera the scan the resolution the codec the fps and also the video bitrate of those mobile devices that are currently connected to your omni stream account i'm able to select and do all the settings from the web application itself so you can be able to sit and do the settings from here if you don't want to do that from the mobile app which i'm also going to show you how you can also and then if you go over to the export tab this is where you see all the link the srt caller the srt listener the rtmp everything that you've created from the mobile app you can be able to see them here and also copy the link and you can also create the srt listener or caller whichever one you want to from the web application itself but if you've also created that from the mobile app you will also see that here also now if you click on the plus sign here the add button and just take this off again the add button here that's the plus with the plus sign there click on that and you'll be able to see all the formations like the custom rtmp the srt listener the srt caller and if you want to create an srt listener or caller just for example click on the listener click on generate here and then you can go ahead and save and close so i'm just going to I'm going to do that because I've also created it before. Just go ahead and then from here, you'll be able to see all the SRT listener that you've created. Just go ahead and delete them one after the other. And you can also create them from the mobile app, which I'm also going to show you in this particular video. Now, at the top of it, the video icon with the play button is where you see a preview of the video that is coming in from your phone camera. So you basically see the preview here on the web application. I can be able to do the control do all the application or whatever thing you want to do from the web application instead of using the mobile app. So you basically can control the mobile app from the web application itself. Okay. So let's, let me show you one or two things from the mobile app that you also need to know. Over here on the mobile app, you see a bunch of tab here. Now at the top there, you see where it wrote to MB. This is where you set your video B treat of Okay, the video you're sending out, you set the video B3, you can put it on 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 12, or 16, depending on whichever one you want to use. And at the bottom left here, you see 1 out of 2. This is where you see um, the network that is currently connected or the Wi-Fi that is connected to your um, phone. You can actually connect your Wi-Fi and also on your phone cellular data. The Omni Stream app will help to bond the two networks together for you, thereby giving you a boost in terms of the network speed now over there on the web application i showed you how you can be able to select the, do the settings on the camera source and everything from the web application if you want to do that from the mobile app you can also click on this video icon i can see the camera source here click on it and from here you can select the back the front and over there at the resolution and be able to set any resolution that you want okay so you can set any resolution at all that you want to use and they also have 4K available for you. And then on the codec tab, you can also select any of the video codec that you want to use as well. And if you want to create the SRT listener or caller through the mobile app, click on this arrow sign here with this, this the arrow sign there at the top left there to the arrow there. Just click on it. And from here, you'll be able to see Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, then the SRT listener, caller, I'm also going to leave the link I, of the video I did on the SRT listener and also how to run a live stream with it. Everything on the description of this particular video. And this is basically what the mobile app is all about and how you can be able to sign up and register for an account yourself. So thank you very much. And don't also forget to check this video out, download the app, use it, and also give them a positive review on the Play Store. Okay, because it's really, really working. Thank you.